All right. Our next can cycle we're going to do is a tapping cycle. We're going to take a tap and cut threads into the part. Now, from our last video, we've already drilled the hole in a pecking cycle. So this is a new tool. And in this particular case, we're going to call this tool number three. Our RPM has to synchronize with our feed rate. We're going to go 800 RPM. Since it's tool three, we want height offset three. Let's say we're gonna tap it a half inch deep. So we don't need a Q value in there. Our Z is what changes and also our feed rate. So our Z depth, we're gonna go to a negative half inch and our feed rate is gonna be 40 inches a minute. Now, how did we come up with 40 and 800? The way we did that is we took 800. Now the tap we're gonna be using is a quarter 20. In other words, there's 20 threads per inch. So I took a number, 800, and divided that by 20, which gave me 40. That's where 40 inches a minute at 800 RPM, it will synchronize, go down into the part, reverse and come back out. The next thing we need to change here, instead of a G83, we change it to a G84. So we have, we've basically center drilled, drilled, and this is the tapping cycle. So a G84, how deep we're going, our feed rate, our spindle speed, our height offset, and the tool number, everything else remains the same for the can cycle.